Hi, so another bite size technique video, but this time using a napkin and some water. We're going to use what we call the floating technique, okay? So I've chosen something that's ready prepped, nice and smooth. Um, it's got a nice white background, which will work well with this napkin. I've separated the napkin so that I'm down to one ply, because I only need one ply for this. And I've cut the motif just so that I have one section of it, like this, okay? So I've also had a little think about where that's going to sit when I put it onto the heart. So I kind of want it, I'm gonna aim for it to be like that with those butterflies, just both at the top. Um, so this section here, I don't actually need so what you can do to get rid of some of the paper, so we haven't got it all to contend with, is if you just wet the edge, you can just wet it and pull that section away, because that will take some of that out of the way. And it means you don't have to cut it. It gives you like a nice feathered edge, which can be useful with a different type of decoupage, which I will be showing you. So it's handy to have a little practice. So I'll just take that bit away as well. You need very little water to just pull the, the ends away. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. That's fine because I can tidy that off afterwards. Underneath, I've got myself a piece of plastic. So it's a bit thicker than cling film. I recommend that you use a plastic bag or if you've got one, um, an, a file. An, document file like this like this okay so one of these so something like that because you're only going to tip water onto it and pop it on a tray because you need something to catch the water that we're going to use quite a lot of water then you get your image and turn it so that the picture is face down that's important because you don't want to put it on the wrong way around move your item that you're going to decoupage out of the way you don't want to get that really really wet and then what we do is we get some water and we tip it quite a lot of it onto the napkin like so and it, you'll see it absorb and spread itself out all along the napkin and what you're going to do is with a with a paintbrush very gently you're just going to paint out from the middle and get all the wrinkles away and the bubbles so really gently because if you press at all if you give any pressure you're going to tear it because it's got so delicate now that it's wet if you need to you can turn it and you can use your fingers because you've not got glue on them just to gently place it where you want it again really gently with that paintbrush so that it's all spread and stretched out and you'll be amazed that it like wrinkles up initially and then all of a sudden it just sort of once you've brushed it it just flattens out and it's quite amazing it might take a couple of times to get it right so you know if you've got a spare bit of napkin have a go with that first before you use your special piece that you want to decoupage with so at the moment, no glue involved, just water. Okay, and you could do it with a smaller motif to begin with, just while you get the hang of it. And it is just about flattening it all out, like so. And then you can tip a little bit of the water away, just... Um, Tilt your tray to one side and let the water run off it because you don't want all of that water and you can see the bubbles a bit better get rid of those and any creases can be really gentle see all that water a little bit here 
See how I'm taking my time. It's like, you're like, it's like, oh, it's there, I want to get it. But just really take your time. Don't rush this because you don't want to tear the paper at any point. Okay, and it's remembering I was going to aim for those butterflies at the top of my heart. Okay, so that's why it's, it's always quite handy to have a damp cloth. I did, I listed that on your equipment guide just to sort of get some of that water out of the way. So soak that up with my cloth. Lift that over here. Soak some water away. There we go. So I've just got the image left. So now what I'm going to do, pull that to one side. I'm going to put the heart in the middle where I want it to go. And then I'm going to get my image and I'm going to turn it over and try and lay it down exactly where you want it to go. Okay. Like so. That's where I wanted it. I'll just move my plastic back a bit so you can see it. And then just smooth it down with your fingers. So still no glue. Just using my fingers to smooth it all where I want it. Gently. I've got no creases underneath then. Lovely. And then from the edge, move the, into the camera, from the edge here, just pull the napkin down so that it's on your tray and gently pull back plastic without it taking the napkin with it. Like so. problem with my um, cloth on the end there. Water everywhere. Just line that out of the way. There we go. Right, so now I've got the napkin on it and I can see a little bubble there so I'm just going to use gently, very gently. There we go. And then around the edge I can just pull the napkin gently away with my finger because remember how delicate the um, the napkin is so I'm not rushing it just gently pulling that away don't need that and you can see how it's created that lovely image on top of the heart. There's no rushing with decoupage. It's um, really important to be steady. Go slow. I'm just going to turn it so I can get to that without causing any damage. Again, it's okay because I've not got any glue on my fingers at the moment. Sorry for the quiet concentration. <laughs> I want to make sure I do this nice and neatly all the way round. Okay, so once you've got that on, then using the brush that I was using that's still nice and wet, I'm going to give it a coat of decoupage glue. So at the moment there is no glue holding this on and I really do want it to 
be glued to the heart. So I give it a lovely coat of decoupage glue. Again, always working from the middle out. Good practice to do that. Working over the wetness and turning it when necessary. And all I suggest is one coat on this and then leave it to dry. Don't touch it again until it's dried. And then you can start to build up the coats. Like so. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll leave that like that now until it's dried and then add another coat. Always have, I've got one here, a jar of water to hand. So any brushes with glue on, you can just pop them in it, stops them drying and spoiling uh, while you're in between coats. So that's how to float a napkin and attach it to an object for decoupage.